to make your way around that corner. The final 200 meters. Steady. Really enjoying it so far. 4K in. Three miles. Halfway to Cutty Shark. Okay, just trying to take this first half study. Okay. Okay, in the 20 degrees, you can slow it down a little bit. Just past the 4 5k as well, so it'll probably end up being about 43k. You just enjoy it. Down to the docks. I love it. Thank <laughs> you. 
but I got 317.50 I think so just dip below 318 my previous PB was 319.06 so I am shocked when I flew back from Chicago when I got 319 I was disappointed it was a PB and I was disappointed that I didn't get 315 but I am not letting myself be disappointed today that 315 will come I gripped my teeth and held on oh loved it oh, oh. Did you enjoy it? Oh, hello, hello, hello. Oh, Hiya, I thought well I missed you. Hello. Mm. Thanks for coming. Hello. Thanks well so done. much for your help. Oh, thank you so 
very much. Congratulations, that was oh. a bit. Yeah, no, I keep laughing. <laughs> So that was my London Marathon 2021. Thank you for watching the video. We realised there's not much footage of Ben running and that's quite simply because I was carrying the GoPro. So my race, it was going very well up to 20 miles. And with five miles to go, I absolutely hit a wall. Basically ran walk to the end, ended in a 2.51. So I lost about 10 minutes. Still a PB, hence why we've got it framed. A huge PB. I know it wasn't the end result I wanted, but you know, I gave it absolutely everything. I loved it, the crowds were absolutely amazing. The weather was ideal. Can't wait to do it again next time. <coughs> we've both run PBs, but we both ran times that we can enter good for age next year. And we also got Boston qualifying time. So that is exciting, hopefully 2022. <coughs> My race, as you can probably see in this video, I was absolutely loving life to about 25, 30 K. My race strategy was to go out at 440 minute Ks. If my watch was buzzing 440, low 440s or, you know, high 430s, I was, I was in a good place. I also said to myself, if the 5Ks are in the 23s, I'm in a good place. So I went out really conservatively. The first ever time out of 10 marathons that I've been disciplined and I haven't gone full steam ahead in that first half and it paid off because I felt amazing at halfway. The race strategy was then to go before 30s and try and push and hold that for a negative split. It didn't quite happen. I pushed to 25, 30k and I felt great and my fastest 5k's I think were in there. But then the marathon is the marathon and from 20 miles onwards, as you can see, I could barely hold the camera up. I was, I was really hurting. But I gripped my teeth, I held it to the end. I think I fueled well. I think I will use that plan again. I am learning to enjoy the process, learning to enjoy the journey. There are many more marathons in us, so I'm gonna celebrate this PB and I'm absolutely chuffed with how it went. The crowds were insane. Thank you so much, London. Thank you so much for all the volunteers. Uh, they definitely helped me along the way. They definitely helped you along the way. Yeah. Next for us is Barcelona in three weekends time. For, so three weeks, five weeks after the London Marathon, so. We don't know what we're gonna do. The initial plan was to jog it and enjoy the city, but Ben is clearly on PB pay. Uh, we haven't decided yet. I think need to talk to my coach. Looking forward to going back to Barcelona. It's a race I've done before. It's one you've wanted to do for ages. It's not a major, but it's one that I want to tick off. So look out for that video. We will be vlogging the weekend. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. We hope you're keeping well and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.